Right folks, as you can see, um, the QXA duration test has finished. It reached 10.6 uh, today, this morning. It was 10.65, I think it was, something like that. So uh, it wasn't exactly 10.6. But um, yeah, so uh, now I've got her hooked up onto the solar panels. And uh, I'll show you the uh, charge rate now, which is quite surprising. Okay, peeps, uh, this is the uh, second day of charging, I think. Um, hang on, what's the bloody date? That'll tell me. Yeah, second day of charging. As you can see, it's up to 3.98 um, across the three packs because they're all now in parallel. And as you can see, the current is about 100 milliamps. It's not so great, but neither is the weather, which I will show you in a minute. Yesterday it was very overcast, today it's raining. So uh, we're not getting a lot of charge, but we are getting some. You can see today is very wet. Very wet indeed. So uh, I think for the uh, QX8 um, to be actually charging with anything today uh, with the solar panel setup I have then uh, I think that's absolutely amazing so um, I mean we had uh, 12 days of discharge and the way this is going it ain't going to be 12 days of recharge because um, once this weather sorts itself out and I get some good days then it will uh, pick up on the charge a lot better Okay, here we go. Just grab all of the probes. I'm, I hope I don't uh, block this off because I'm having to reach with my left hand and hold the probes at the same time. And it's uh, a bit. Ah, got it. So what I'm going to do is just hold them on there um, for a short while so that you can see uh, the voltage going up. There's hardly any current. Um, it's got about 100 milliamps going in roughly. And um, it's about uh, 9.30 in the morning of the um, 23rd. So uh, the sun isn't really up, it's very overcast, but um, as you can see she is taking a charge and uh, quicker than I thought it would, to be honest. Um, I thought it'd take uh, a lot longer, but um, oh, and the, this is uh, the charging system uh, where all the... Um, the three uh, lipo cell uh, groups are in parallel. And uh, that, will, that will be, I've hardwired it obviously, um, but that's what the, uh, the automatic charger will do, is it will switch the cells into parallel and charge them and then uh, when it's fully charged it will automatically switch it back over into series to give us the 12 volts. So uh, as you can see in that short time it's uh, gone up uh, 3 millivolts. Well 3 millivolts doesn't sound a lot but when you're charging something this big that is a lot and it's uh, I mean, there's no sun whatsoever. It's that overcast. 
So we're coming up on uh, 5.30. So in that short space of time, it's taken in 5 milliamps. Uh, millivolts, sorry. So there you go. A quarter past 10 in the morning. The sun is really bright. Yeah. Sort of hazy clouds, not, not uh, complete blue sky. And as you can see, we're pulling virtually two amps out of the solar panels to charge these up, uh, the X, uh, QXA up. And we've got 4.19 going into the uh, cells. Now we have to get to 4.35, I think it is, um, before there is actually 4 volts in the cells. Uh, to uh, get over the uh, voltage drop on the diodes and my wiring which uh, is uh, a little to be desired as you can see so uh, yeah, there we are people that's how she's doing so far